Hi guys, I'm back with another cooking video. For the Dorito taco recipe, you're going to need two cups of Doritos, one pound of ground beef, two cups of lettuce, one fourth cups of green onions or purple onions, one tomato, and a half a cup of black beans. So I've already started the ground beef. I'm going to cook my black beans and then start chopping up my ingredients. Um, the whole process takes about, oh, I want to say 20 to 25 minutes. this in the refrigerator um, because I don't need it right now and it's pretty warm in this kitchen it is 80 degrees outside and I'm actually getting ready to turn on the air conditioner because I can't I can't cook in the heat today not today I won't complain about how hot it is because I have friends and family um, in Texas and Oklahoma. I've been shut in for days dealing with the winter wonderland. So I won't complain. It is pretty toasty. So my ground beef is almost done. And then I'm going to let my beans cook for about two more minutes. And in the meantime, I'm just going to cut up the rest of my ingredients. And just set this in the refrigerator. Tastes so delicious. So I cook my taco seasoning in the ground beef. Um, there's, you know, you can do it either way you like, but I cook it in the ground beef. So I season my ground beef with seasoned salt, garlic powder, and taco seasoning. It's really good.
my ground beef is done and my beans are done so I'm just going to let it sit here and then I'm going to drain the juice off of the ground beef. I'm going to chop up some avocado and then start putting everything together ready to eat. <laughs> okay so I have fresh tomatoes, lettuce, avocado, shredded cheese, and onions. Okay, so this is it for my Dorito taco salad. I'm going to sit down and enjoy my meal. I paired it off with some fruit punch and then I have some salsa on the side. So who's ready for steak tacos and tortilla soup? Me! <laughs> All right, guys, let's get to cooking. I am making grilled steak tacos and tortilla soup. So what I'm doing now is preparing the ingredients for the tortilla soup. So I'm going to get that started. It should only take about 20 minutes to um, cook the tortilla soup and about 10 minutes for our steak. So I'm going to go ahead and get my cilantro chopped up and then I'm going to cut up my purple onion and then my yellow onion. So for this tortilla soup, you're going to need two cups of chicken broth one cup of black beans, one cup of corn, and one cup of diced tomatoes, unsalted. And so I just have the can of diced tomatoes for that. The purple onions is for the steak and not the tortilla soup. And it's around noon, so I may um, prepare a, a smoothie um, this evening. I didn't have one for breakfast this morning. I didn't have appetite. Okay, so I have my onions chopped up. And the tortilla soup only takes about, um, about 20 to 30 minutes to cook. Three cups of chicken broth. cup of corn it calls for one cup of black beans but I have a half a cup here this is leftover black beans from um, my taco salad recipe and then one cup of diced tomatoes I'm going to stir this up before I add the rest of my ingredients. Okay. Then you want to add in one fourth cup garlic. And then one fourth cup or cilantro. One fourth cup of onions. I do not want my hands smelling like onions, so <laughs> we're gonna use the big spoon to scoop up these onions. Because I do not want my hands smelling like onions. Why does onions make everything taste so much better? Adds so much flavor to food. And then for my spices, 
and I'm adding in one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, and one tablespoon of chili powder. And I almost forgot the lime. So you just need one tablespoon of lime juice. going to let this cook for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to do a taste test to see if I need any more chili powder or salt or what or what I need to add to it so about 10 minutes okay so I did my first taste test on my soup and it is tasting delicious I don't need to add any other ingredients to it if you guys like jalapeno peppers you can add that to it um, the only thing else that I'm, oh, and of course you can add um, two cups of shredded chicken and half chicken tortilla soup. I'm not going to add anything else to it except for some tortilla um, chips. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's get started on the steak. This is already seasoned, so I'm just going to cut off a few pieces and throw it on the grill. It only takes about 10 minutes um, for the steak to cook. And we probably have about 10 minutes left um, on the tortilla soup. I guess I need my fork. Guys, do you hear those geese outside? I wish they go away, but they're not. <laughs> they're not going anywhere, and they are so loud. They were up all night. Last night, the night before, I thought after they got dark that they would get quiet. Nope. So there's ducks, there's geese, I don't know what else is all out there, but they was making a lot of racket. And so for my um, street tacos, the only thing that I'm going to add is just some feta cheese and some of those purple onions. It only takes about 10 minutes. Uh, for this steak to cook and it is a bit on the spicy side um, I need to look at the ingredients I can see the black pepper on here cooked some the other day and it is pretty spicy
And some of you have asked about my um, knife set. There's a link in the description box below for the knife set. Everything is done, smelling good, looking good, and I know it's going to taste good. <laughs> oh, let me fix my plate. Okay guys, this is it. So that is my tortilla soup. All I did was add some tortilla chips to it, some feta cheese to my street tacos, and some onions, and then I have limes. If you guys give it a try, please let me know. And then how do you make your street tacos and tortilla soup? Comment below. So for this recipe, you're going to need one cup of kale, two cups of pineapple, one milk cube, one cup of water, and one tablespoon of fresh success banana smoothie mix. This is it. This is my pineapple kale smoothie and it is so delicious. Kale by itself has a very bitter taste but with the pineapples you cannot taste it. As always thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!